Hello, welcome to how to solve this exponential equation 4 to the power x plus x is equal to 0. We will solve it by two methods. So, let us start with method 1. First of all, we move this plus x to the right side. 4 to the power x is equal to this plus x becomes negative x at the right side. Next, we take power 1 over x of both sides. 4 to the power x whole to the power 1 over x is equal to negative x to the power 1 over x. Now, according to the property of exponents a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. This power x will be multiplied by this power 1 over x. So, this x will be cancelled with this x and at left side left 4 is equal to negative x to the power 1 over x. Now, we move this negative x to the power 1 over x to the left side and this 4 to the right side. Negative x to the power 1 over x is equal to 4. Now, because here we have a negative x, so we suppose that this 1 over x is equal to negative y. Let 1 over x is equal to negative y. And if we multiply both sides of this equation by x, and divide both sides of this equation by y, then this implies negative x is equal to 1 over y. And if we multiply both sides of this equation by negative 1, then this implies x is equal to negative 1 over y. Now, in this equation, we substitute the value of negative x from here 1 over y. The value of this negative x is 1 over y to the power and we substitute the value of this 1 over x from here the value of 1 over x is negative y. So, we put here the value of y negative y is equal to 4. Now, according to the property of exponents 1 over a is equal to a to the power negative 1. According to this property, this 1 over y is equal to y to the power negative 1 whole to the power this power negative y is equal to 4. Now, according to the property of exponents a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power n. This power negative 1 will be multiplied by this power negative y. y to the power negative 1 times negative y positive y is equal to and we can write this 4 as 2 to the power 2. Now, if we compare base with the base and the power with the power. We conclude that y is equal to 2. Now, recall that we have supposed we have supposed that x is equal to negative 1 over y. We have supposed that x is equal to negative 1 over y. To find the value of x, we put the value of y 2 in this equation. x is equal to negative 1 over the value of y is 2. So, this is the answer of this equation. This is the value of x. Now, let us solve this equation by method 2. In this method, we divide both sides of this equation by 4 to the power x. 
4 to the power x divided by 4 to the power x plus x divided by 4 to the power x is equal to 0 divided by 4 to the power x. This 4 to the power x will be cancelled with this 4 to the power x and here left 1. So, we write it as 1 plus x divided by 4 to the power x is equal to 0 divided by 4 to the power x is 0. Next, we move this one to the right side x divided by 4 to the power x is equal to this plus 1 becomes negative 1 at the right side. Now, according to the property of exponents 1 over a is equal to a to the power negative 1. We can write this x over 4 to the power x as x times 4 to the power negative x is equal to negative 1. Now, we want to use here Lambert W function that is W function of a times e to the power a is equal to a. In this function, you can see that here we have same expression a and here we have same expression a. To use Lambert W function here, we must have a same expression here and same expression here. But for now, here we have negative x and here we have positive x. To make this x negative, we multiply both sides of this equation by negative 1. At left side, we multiply by negative 1. And negative 1 times x negative x times 4 to the power negative x is equal to negative 1 times negative 1 positive 1. Now, as you can see here in the Lambert W function, we have e here. To use here Lambert W function, we must have e here in place of this 4. So, for this we use natural log property e to the power ln of a is equal to a. According to this property, e to the power ln of 4 is equal to 4. So, we replace this 4 with this e to the power ln of 4. Negative x times we replace this 4 with this e to the power ln of 4. e to the power ln of 4 whole to the power this power negative x is equal to 1. Now, according to the property of exponents a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. This power ln of 4 will be multiplied by this power negative x. Negative x times e to the power ln of 4 times negative x negative x times ln of 4 is equal to 1. Now, to use the Lambert W function here, we must have a same expression here and same expression here. But for now, here we have a negative x times ln of 4 and here we have only negative x. To make this negative x the same as this negative x times ln of 4, we multiply both sides of this equation ln of 4. And ln of 4 times negative x, negative x times ln of 4 times e to the power negative x times ln of 4 is equal to 1 times ln of 4 ln of 4. Next, negative x times ln of 4 times e to the power negative x times ln of 4 is equal to. Now, we want to use here Lambert W function 2. So, we write this ln of 4 as ln of 2 to the power 2. 
next negative x times ln of 4 times e to the power negative x times ln of 4 is equal to now according to natural log property ln of a to the power b is equal to b times ln of a this power 2 will come here 2 times ln of 2 next negative x times ln of 4 times e to the power negative x times ln of 4 is equal to according to natural log property e to the power ln of a is equal to a so according to this property e to the power ln of 2 is equal to 2 so we replace this 2 with this e to the power ln of 2 we replace this 2 with e to the power ln of 2 times ln of 2 next negative x times ln of 4 times e to the power negative x times ln of 4 is equal to now we change the position of this ln of 2 we write this ln of 2 first and then this e to the power ln of 2 ln of 2 times e to the power ln of 2 now we have same expression here negative x times ln of 4 and same expression here negative x times ln of 4 and at the right side we have same expression here ln of 2 and same expression here ln of 2 so on both sides we can use lambda w function that is w function of a times e to the power a is equal to a so we apply lambda w function on both sides and according to lambda w function this negative x times ln of 4 times e to the power negative x times ln of 4 is equal to this expression negative x times ln of 4 negative x times ln of 4 is equal to and according to lambda w function this ln of 2 times e to the power ln of 2 is equal to this expression ln of 2 ln of 2 next negative x times we can write this ln of 4 as ln of 2 to the power 2 is equal to ln of 2 now according to natural log property ln of a to the power b is equal to b times ln of a this power 2 will come here so we multiply this 2 by this negative x 2 times negative x negative 2 x times ln of 2 is equal to ln of 2 and we divide both sides by ln of 2 this ln of 2 will be cancelled with this ln of 2 and this ln of 2 will be cancelled with this ln of 2 and here left 1 so negative 2x is equal to 1 and if we divide both sides of this equation by negative 2 we get x is equal to negative 1 over 2 so this is the final answer this is the value of x now to verify this value of x we put this value negative 1 over 2 in the original equation the original equation is 4 to the power x plus x is equal to 0 in this equation we put the value of x negative 1 over 2 4 to the power negative 1 over 2 plus value of x negative 1 over 2 
is equal to 0. Next, we can write this 4 as 2 to the power 2 whole to the power this power negative 1 over 2. This plus and this minus becomes minus 1 over 2 is equal to 0. And this 2 will be cancelled with this 2 and here left 2 to the power negative 1 minus 1 over 2 is equal to 0. Now according to the property of exponents a to the power negative 1 is equal to 1 over a. This 2 to the power negative 1 is equal to 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2 is equal to 0 and 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2 0 is equal to 0. You can see that left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So, it is proved that the value of x negative 1 over 2 is correct.